I've had these tennies for about five months. So this is the video I wish I had watched before I bought my Vejas. I really love this shoe, but there are a few things I wish I would have known ahead of time. So there's one thing to note for context. I do have a very small shoe size. I wear a size five US and I'm gonna buy a shoe that's available in my size, where I live, etc. But I did go to Holt Renfrew here in Toronto and they had my size, which was amazing. One big major thing to know is you want a size like a complete full size down. You look everywhere, you look on the Veja website, you look online and it says order true to size. And I, that's just not true in my experience. So if you wear a size five, order a size four and they're gonna fit you like a size five. I also loved how the guy at Holt Renfrew laced my shoes. I, I like took a photo, I like studied it before, you know, washing my laces and, and relacing it because I thought, he did such a good job. He actually relaced them um, a specific way and it, they just look really good. One thing I was drawn to years ago when I first started noticing them was, was the simplicity of their branding. You know, a nice white tennis shoe, white elements, and then kind of some off-white elements. Um, but then the really simple V um, that's cut off at the bottom and then the Veja logo. I've also noticed they, they look really great on guys. Like <laughs> it's actually kind of weird when you like, you're somewhere, you're like at a coffee shop or something and you look over and you're like, oh, I match that guy over there. We're wearing the same shoe. I do like the style for guys so much where I'm like, well, maybe Luke could just get a different color. And I like how the style feels a little bit more timeless, a little more classy or something where I see a lot of women up into their 60s, maybe 70s wearing the shoe. But it's, it's a, I feel like it's a style you can like age gracefully in. I don't know if that sounds bad or if I sound like I feel like I'm old or whatever, but I think it's just a really classy shoe. Another thing style-wise I would do differently if I were to buy Vejas again is I would probably get something with more of a platform, which if you go to the Veja website um, under women, some of the first styles that come up, they're very similar to this style with a little bit more of like a, a platform. And my thoughts around that are A, like I'm short, so I could always use a little bit more of a lift. But another thing is I'm wondering if that would actually provide a little more support. So I noticed when I hit maybe 25, upper 20s, um, I started to care a lot about support. And I think it's hilarious. I, look, I like think back to my university days and I wore Toms like for miles. I walk miles in Toms just around campus and I'm like, Oh, maybe that's where I did all my damage to my feet. And now that's why I noticed no support. I don't know, but um, I don't take long walks in the morning with maple in these shoes generally because of the lack of support. I go for my Nike Internationalist tennis shoe, except I did wear them all over Europe. So the end of the day, my feet would kind of hurt. Um, but I will say that's gotten better over time too. So maybe part of it is I'm trying to break them in. Um, but I do wish they had more support from the time I put them on. I did notice a trend. Um, so we started our trip in the, in the United Kingdom and ended in Paris. And even like leaving Toronto, like I see like a handful of Vejas around the city. Ireland and Scotland, like zero, <laughs> see any there. But then in London, we saw, um, I saw more Vejas. And then particularly when we took the train from London to Paris, I saw so many. Then when I got to Paris, there was like lots of Vejas. So it was like the closer we got to Paris, there were more people wearing the shoe, like noticeably. I mean, if you go to the Veja website, you also notice like they ship within Europe quite easily. Um, but then if they were to ship to North America, like to Canada, for example, um, you'd have to pay duties. So there is a little bit more ease of of access. I did notice you can order them. Um, there's free worldwide shipping if you spend over 150 euros, which you're gonna do pretty easily just buying a pair of shoes. Um, they are more expensive, um, but I think that they've been worth it. I, I anticipate wearing these shoes for a long time and I would buy them again. Yeah, I think I would choose 
If I were to do it again, I would get, I don't know what these like letters mean, but the U-R-C-A, C-W-L, white nautico butter. That's the style I would buy if I went about it again um, for a little bit more height and um, hopefully a little bit more support. Oh, wow.